Okay, let's do another uh, math CSD question. An item that sells for $375 is put on sale at 120. What is the percent of decrease? Percent of decrease. So this is all about how you set this problem up. So we have the full price item, 375. And we want to multiply it by something. Let's get back to that in a second. And that's going to give us 120. So what is the something? Now, what we want is the percent of decrease. Percent of decrease. Which means the price went lower than its 100% value. Right, so 100% is the whole thing and we want to subtract hence decrease some percent x and we, we want to figure out what x is so let's rewrite this with decimals so 375 times 100 percent is the same thing as one why because to go from percent to decimal we have to divide it by 100. 100 divided by 100 is 1. Or, you can think of it as we move the decimal place 2 to the left. 1, 2. So we have 1 minus x equals to 120. Um, so at this point, we can distribute or we can divide. I'm going to go and divide. Remember, we want x by itself. So I want to get rid of this 375. We're multiplying it by it. So I want to divide by 375 on the left side. If we do it to the left, we have to do it to the right. Divide by 375 on the right. So on the left side, these cancel out. And we have left with 1 minus x. We don't have to write the parentheses anymore because there's nothing around it. Equal to 120 divided by 375. So I'm going to use my calculator for this. 120 divided by 375 gives me 0 0.32. Next, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides because I want to get rid of this positive 1. Subtract 1 here. Subtract 1 here. One Positive 1 will cancel with the negative 1. And we're left with negative x is equal to... What's 0 0.32 minus 1? Again, I'll go to my calculator. And I'll get negative 0. 68 and finally we, w we don't want negative x we want positive x so let's divide both sides by a negative one and we will finally get the negatives will cancel and these negatives will cancel x is equal to 0 0.68 you can actually um, made this jump directly without dividing by negative one Right, because it's just a noticing something. So if you know like negative x is equal to negative, let's say, 200. If negative x equals negative 200, then x has to equal to 200. Right, in, in the same idea that, I don't know, if x is equal to 10, then negative x equals to negative 10. It's just a, it's just a relationship that they have. But let's put that on the side. So x is equal to 0 0.68. This is in decimal, so we want to change it back to percent. 0 0.68. Uh, to change it back to percent, instead of dividing by 100, you got to multiply by 100 times 100. So give us 68%. Or, like I said before, we can move the decimal place. Instead of two places to the left, move two places to the right, because we're going from decimal to percent. That also give us 68%. And that is answer choice C.
our item of $375 was decreased by 68%. Let me show you one other way to do this real quick using the power of the multiple choice. So let's look at $375. Let's pretend this was put on sale for 50%, right? On sale for 50%. 50% is just half of the item, right? So let's see what 375 is divided by two. So 375 by two is $187. 187.5. This is more than 120, which means our percent of decrease has to be more than 50%. And that only leaves us with choice C. So we can use our intuition here to get the same answer as well.